This is not the best way to store data in a class. Here's how we can in 60 seconds. So here you can see I have a class called point and really this is just going to store like an X and Y variable location and I can create two objects. But because this class isn't really doing anything, there's a better way to do this. Let's come down here and I'm going to say from collections, I'm going to import named tuple. Right, so think of a name tuple like a class. What do I want the class to be called? It's going to be called point. What is point? Point is a named tuple. Um, what's the name of the class, right? And then what are the properties going to be? Well, there we go. Now I have a class called point. I can do the same thing and say like location three is equal to point, right? Let me turn this one off. There we go, point. Okay, now point needs an X and Y. So like 45, 66. If I come down here and I were to print off, let's just print off X. I can say location three, because it's like an object, dot x because that's our property of this name tuple.